Hi there, and welcome to Fusion Pilates Podcast. My name is Casey Hurt, and we're going to be talking a little bit about release work. Now, one of the main places that we like to focus on, especially in the beginning of a session, whether it be in a mat class or in a private, is about opening up the feet. Now, most people walking through their everyday life aren't really thinking about their feet, they're thinking about their shoes. So this is the perfect time to get them in the studio and to get them in their bodies by doing a little bit of self-massage. Now, there's a couple of different implements that you can use to release the feet. You can use a regular old tennis ball. Now, if it comes right out of the can, those guys can be pretty tough. So you might want to see if you can go to a racket club or a friend that plays tennis to get some of their um, old tennis balls that have a little bit less um, rigidity to them. Or you can use a little bit of a spiky ball. So we're going to be using the green spiky ball today, so I'm just going to roll this guy to the side. So the green spiky ball is really nice for release work. It has some give and cushion to it, but it has all these little prongs. And this is the perfect place to innervate the bottom of the feet. So we're going to put this guy on the ground and I'm gonna start just rolling out the whole of the foot. Now, if you haven't done this before, if you have clients that have a hard time with balance, bringing them up to a wall to put a hand onto it so that they can leverage a little bit easier is wonderful. But for your more advanced clients that don't have a problem with balance, this is actually a pretty good place to do it. So as you're rolling out the foot, what you wanna to try to do is relax the bones. You don't want the toes to grip, you want them to release. The bones of the foot are tiny, right? So whenever you have an area of the body that is built of tiny bones, that means it's meant for mobility, right? Our spine, our rib cage, and our feet and hands are the areas in the body that are mostly made of tiny bones. But most people don't think about the mobility in our feet, but we line up our whole body on top of these bones. So it's imperative that we take care of them. So what you wanna tell your clients to do is maybe find a sticky spot that's sore and you know, be sure to tell them if this is their first time doing any type of release work with them, that this can be tender. I can remember the first time I rolled out my feet on tennis balls and I thought I was gonna jump out of my skin, but it pays to do this a little bit more consistently in the beginning so that your feet can find more suppleness. Now, after rolling out the feet, which feels great all the way up and down, and like I said, you can find a pressure point and put some more pressure in there, you can actually do some foot and toe exercises with this. So I'm gonna bring my feet into parallel and I'm gonna take this little green spiky ball underneath my big toe and my second toe joint. Hard to tell in my pants, but I have a little bit of a soft bend in the knees. And what I'm gonna try to do is squeeze the ball with my big toe and second toe. Now, a lot of people have a big toe that angles in. What they can do is take their toe out and around it to straighten it out and then work the musculature in the squeeze that hasn't been worked in a while in alignment. And then from here, you can go into the middle three toes, getting the big toe and the pinky toe to go on the sides of the ball and trying to get those guys to squeeze. And you'll see lots of funny faces trying to get people's brains to connect in with these guys. And also, this can be really tender. It's not very often that we explore the tissue underneath the toes. And that can really grip, especially people with hammer toes, this is brilliant for. Helps to open up that really sticky tissue. Then of course, we're gonna go to the outside of the foot. Really get that pinky toe on there. And when's the last time you tried to exercise your pinky toe, right? So you're trying to squeeze, oh, this is really invigorating, uh, the ball with your pinky toe and your fourth toe. Not so easy as it sounds, you'll see a lot of people doing this with their fingers as they do it. Um, they're trying to activate that kind of outside line of the body. But then from there, when you're finished, you're gonna have your client step off and it feels completely different from right to left. My right foot feels supple, it feels ready to react and almost buoyant, whereas my left leg feels a little heavy and sore and it's definitely wanting uh, a little bit of time on this green spiky ball. Thank you so much for joining us today and have fun with the green spiky ball release.